lot of believers have fallen into the trap of Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron and this fascinating argument about how the atheist is the, uh, the banana is the atheist nightmare. Hold this, Kirk. Behold the atheist's nightmare. Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side there are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves, on the close side, two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. You'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. It has outward indicators of inward contents. Green, too early. Yellow, just right. Black, too late. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top, so God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find the wrapper, which is biodegradable, has perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. Notice it has a point at the top for ease of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. It's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process so much easier. Um, in that case, why isn't the coconut? <laughs> I mean, cl clearly well. you think God designed the coconut too. So if God designed all the diversity of life, and you can just go around and pick one that you think demonstrates that it's God's special plan for you to eat it. Uh, so banana, um, which kind of handy, coconut, kind of hard to get into. Well, I mean, not, really not to mention, I personally feel that a steak is way more delicious than the banana. But I have to say that the steak is not convenient at all to extract from no. nature. No, but I mean, I mean, you have coconut, banana. And then after you've made this wonderful argument about how the banana is proof of God, which would imply that the coconut is also proof of God, except the coconut doesn't fit anything. And then we find out that the banana you're talking about was actually created by human beings. Natural bananas, plantains, don't taste the same. They don't feel the same. They're not shaped the same. They don't work the same. Um, they're completely different. So basically, if God did create all this stuff, uh, he kind of sucks. And we want up to him by creating a tastier, handier banana. I mean, if your argument's valid that the banana's proof of God, then we should have a valid argument that we've one-upped him already. I mean, he tried to kill babies by all kinds of diseases, but he can't kill them with smallpox anymore. Mm. It's uh, it's all those damn scientists inventing yeah. vaccines and those God all the time. <laughs> you shall not destroy me, you scientists. Seriously, Kurt, the whole of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative. I will come up with new diseases since you've trumped all my old ones. Wah -ha -ha. <laughs>